Hey guys, this is Randy at Tekin. I'm going to show you how to enable file name and file extension changing on Vista, which is necessary because we email you guys the software as a text format. And the reason why we do that is to get past the security features of some of the free email servers like Gmail, Hotmail, and, and MSN Mail, and some of those. They don't care for that large zip file to come through, so we changed it to a text format, and they allow it through. So I'm going to show you guys how to rename that along with being able to get to the hidden file that needs to be removed prior to installing the new software. So I'm going to show you how to get to both of those things and I'll show you how to rename the file so you can use it as a zip file. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is click on the start button. Click on computer. You have a window pop-up that should show your hard drive. So click on the hit the alt button. A new menu bar will drop down. So select tools. Select folder options. Click on the view tab. Go down to where it says hidden files and folders and it should be currently checked as do not show hidden files and folders. I want you to click on show hidden files and folders. Below that is a box that is currently checked that says hide extensions for known file types. That needs to be unchecked. Once you've done that, click apply. Click OK. That window will go away. And now that's been enabled to where you can change the file extension. So I'll show you how to do that. Here's the Tekken Hotwire software on my desktop saved as a .txt file. Simply highlight it by left clicking on it once. Right click on it, select rename. And it will highlight the name of the file. And that doesn't necessarily matter. But what we need to change is this right here where it says .txt. So move your mouse over to it. Select it. Delete those last three digits. Type in .zip. Hit enter, and it's going to ask you, do you really want to change that? And you're going to say yes. And you will see that it went from a text document icon to a zip folder icon. Now you can use that. Simply double click on this, run the setup file, and you're done. Before you do that, though, we need to go delete that tekin.esc file in the virtual store. And I'm going to show you how to get to that now. So once you've done that, double click on local disk, double click on users, select your username. Mine is Randy. Double click that. You're going to see a transparent folder up at the top that says App Data. Double click that. Double click on Local. Go down to the bottom, and this is the virtual store that we always talk about. Double click on Virtual Store. Double click on Program Files. There's the Tekken Hotwire folder. Double click this. And this is the folder and file that needs to be removed. It says Tekken.esc. Simply highlight it by clicking on it once. Right click on it. Select Delete. Select Yes and you're done. Once you've done that, close this window out, restart your computer, and then double click on your zip file hotware software that you've downloaded via email from me, and you should be run run the setup file and that, and you're good to go. Once you've done that, you should have a new hotwire icon up top, and you should have the current software loaded on your computer.